I capture my reality in various ways, be it using my body by performing on the streets, or my camera by photographing things in front of me, creating installations. All aspects of life to me are mediums. Nothing is more inspiring to me than life itself. I'm Signe Pierce and I am a reality artist. I studied photography, I studied traditional art, but I've also always been really inspired by pop. I wish they weren't such separate worlds. Pop culture is often viewed as lowbrow, reality TV is often viewed as fluff, but to me there is just something so Warholian and incredibly rich about turning your life into media. From birth, women are taught, like, you like pink and purple. These are your colors. This is what your thing is. You get older and you start to realize, like, femininity and pink and purple are often associated with weakness. They're demeaned and they're derogatory. I'm interested in reclaiming femininity as something that we can be empowered by and not feel demasculated by. I sometimes shudder when I refer to myself as a performance artist. I feel like there's something kind of weirdly inauthentic about the word performance because it implies that I'm like faking it, but I genuinely feel like every type of character that comes out of me is a real part of my identity. I'm just kind of like turning up the saturation on various aspects of myself. American Reflex is a performance that I did in collaboration with my former partner, Ali Coates. We knew it was gonna garner attention. I was being provocative, but there was absolutely no way of knowing how angry it was gonna make people. The Cyborg in American Reflex is an example of the nameless, faceless women we see in media every day. The girl you see in porn who doesn't really have an identity or a name. The girl you see who's modeling, whose basic purpose is to be an object. What happens when you drop her into the middle of the street? What happens to her? She gets attacked. She's not human. But to me, she's more than human. Hi, this is Big Sister speaking. Nice to finally introduce myself. I've been watching you for a while. Let's get to know each other, shall we? When I think about surveillance culture, I think about male hackers. I don't really see a swarm of women you know, sitting in Silicon Valley, like, mining my data. What's your email address? Big Sister is sort of like a data dominatrix. She is out here looking to seek some vengeance for some of the male gaze. When I'm walking down the street, I feel watched all the time. I think a lot of women feel watched all the time, and we are constantly being observed and perceived as objects. But we can use technology as a tool to combat some of the more oppressive aspects of the patriarchy. Halo came out of this idea that human interaction is dying and that we are starting to essentially become avatars of ourselves. I worked with an industrial designer. I just told him, make a selfie stick for my face. Whenever I am Halo, you can't look me in the eye. Like It's a metaphor for the way we're leading our lives through our phones and how we are essentially becoming the media version of ourselves. Cyber feminism just comes from an idea that for so long, women didn't have access to a microphone. Anybody who doesn't fit under the white cis male heteronormative culture, we're suddenly finding ourselves being able to say and express ourselves and think out loud and, and assert our agency in ways that we never were before by using the internet and new technology.